so yesterday was the incomplete part of the design of plate grader that is design of stiffener so let's start to design this then we will design at first design of end wearing stiffener and wearing stiffener or we can say it's load wearing stiffener too so at first we calculate size of this size that width of stiffener which should not uh, less than or equal vf minus tw divided by 2 sorry it should less than or equal vf minus tw divided by 2 that is vf 580 minus 12 divided by 2 it will 284 and uh, thickness of stiffener thickness of stiffener should less than or equal thickness of pep then the thickness of pep was 12 mm so provide two stiffener of size we can take this 280 it will 284 but we can take 280 into 12 one on each side okay now in the second check for out stand this is design of a stiffener check for out stand we will draw a diagram for this this is a diagram to get the check of out stand we can draw like this and we will show the shaded area and this will axis and BF should be bed bean 14 TQ epsilon to 20 TQ epsilon now what is TQ TQ is thickness of stiffener of stiffener which just we have we find 12 mm that means TQ equals to 12 mm adopt out stand equals to 200 mm which is BF 200 mm generally 200 mm adopted it should be between 14 TQ of silent less than or equal to 100 less than or equal 20 TQ of silent now we will calculate by TQ equals to 12 and 20 into 12 it will 168 should be less than 200 and it's 240 then we can say okay it is safe and adopt minimum of this that is 168 you can also take 200 there is no restriction okay now the third step check for bearing of stiffener bearing of stiffener
then we know that f y s t equals to formula this is from code a q f y into q sorry this is not into this is in the suffix divided by 0 0.8 into gamma m naught q is the indication of pairing of a stiffener okay now area of a stiffener which will 2 into 200 into 12 you can see 200 into 12 we can take 200 into 12 this was a mistake I took 200 into 12 in my calculation okay now FY which will 250 and uh, 0 0.8 gamma naught will be 1.1 which will 1363 6390 sorry not 0 in Newton and now I have to change in kilonewton 1363 point six three that's will kilonewton and which will maximum from the maximum shear force which have evaluated in the previous steps that was one zero three five kilonewton now you can watch here this is safe also now check for buckling this is also the design of a stiffener check for buckling we know fwd equals to a effective into fcd now we will find out both a effective and fcd a effective is what 2 into 168 into 12 what is 2 into 168 into 12 i just wanted to show you I took 168 and 12 and we will get the area by 2 plus 200 into 12 now by the calculation we will get the value 6432 mm square and now we will find out also the I effective moment of inertia effective which will be d cube that means 12 into 168 into 168 sorry this is plus 168 plus 12 this is d b into d cube you can understand easily in diagram and divided by 12 plus 280 into 12 cube b d cube so this is 200 divided by 12 and we will find out which will 4217 by the calculator and uh, this is 4217.36 into 10 to the power 4 mm I pause my videos to calculate and we will find out cylinderness ratio this is 0 0.7 d under root a effective upon i effective then 0 0.7 and this is 1600 into a effective 6432 which is the value of a effective you can find out easily here divided by i effective i effective is 4217.36 into 10 to the power 4 we will calculate this by calculator i am pausing my video and by the calculation this is 13.83 and we can also get fcd from table 9c by the code it will 2 to 5 Newton per mm square this will evaluated by the code and uh, then check a effective 
into FCD. Now A effective is six four three two into FED. Sorry, FCD. FCD we have already two to five. Then what will will be one four four seven two zero zero in Newton. Now we will change this in kilonewton. Then it will one four four seven point two kilonewton, which should be, so it should not less than from shear force maximum shear force, which is evaluated in previous video. It is one zero. Three five. Now you can check also. This is safe. Okay, safe. And the fifth check of this stiffener is check for torsion. Check for torsion. This is not needed, probably. So we will not check this. And also we will design of IS. What is IS? IS that means intermediate stiffener. Step number V. Design of intermediate stiffener. Why it should be designed? I will just explain all the things. Basically, uh, it's provided on failure condition of lateral torsional buckling. So we didn't check that. We should we should provide because uh, i didn't check so it may be uh, in the failure condition it will protect to the design so i am designing this intermediate stiffener so uh, by the pre previous stiffener design at first we will check size then we are directly provided to size 182 into 12 it's adopted generally adopted and uh, we will write a language provide a stiffener only one side of this is one side of web okay now the second second is check for out stand check for out stand Check for out stand take VF equals to this is F VF equals to 200 this is also adopting and now we have to check 168 VF 240 we can take value of 200 because this check is safe but also we can take minimum we can take minimum or we can take which is adopted here so okay save this is extra check we do not have to need to check but sometimes it's also matter so we can we should check at least once if we are adapting then there is no matter of checking okay check for buckling and intermediate stiffener intermediate stiffener so we have to find out fq what is fq fq that means b minus v c r divided by gamma m naught and now we have to find out b v c r and we know gamma m naught 1.1 so what is VCR? VCR we know area of web plate into tau V and what is AV? D into TW into tau V. What is D? 1600 evaluated and uh, TW 12 and uh, this is also I have find out for 49.36 it will 947.71 and uh, we know what is V V equals to 1035 
and uh, this is also in kilonewton this is also in kilonewton and what is gamma m not we know so now we have to find out fq fq that means 1035 minus 147.71 divided by gamma m not 1.1 and is give the value 79.35 and it should be maximum from fqd fqd it should be maximum from this sorry it's it should be minimum from this it should be minimum from this now we will find also fqd what is fqd fqd is a effective into fcd then fcd is 198 here from table number 9c you can find easily from there and what is a effective a effective we will find 2 into 168 into 12 from the previous method here is 168 opted adopted and this is 180 into 12 which you can see here 180 into 12 it will give the value 6192 m m square then we will find fqd a effective into fcd that is 6192 into 198 it's give the value 122016 newton in newton now we have to change fqd 1226.016 kilonewton now what was the check check was f q should be less than or equal from f q d now you can see what is the value of f q d and what is the value of f q this is also in kilonewton so this is safe okay safe now the design of a stiffener the design of both stiffeners and first first was design of end bearing stiffener or load bearing stiffener and the second is design of intermediate stiffener both have been completed thank you and i also wanted to say one thing that if you all don't to like my videos to subscribe my youtube channel okay i will not force you to do so but please share it moreover to those who urgently needed it. Thank you once again.